This is ground zero for the first Soviet nuclear test in 1946. This pond is where the crater was, and if we look over towards the uh, horizon in all directions, we see buildings radiating outward. And there's Mike in his respirator. And these buildings were used to uh, assess the effects of the blast, some at very close range. But what I'd like to show you is the radiation levels out here. And to do that, I have a Geiger counter, currently uh, with a pancake probe attached. And I will turn the speaker on. And you can see uh, the radiation levels. Let's put this on the, uh, that would be the 100,000 counts per minute level. And again, we're looking at a two inch pancake. Here on the ground are some very interesting chunks of stuff. That would be almost 100,000 counts per minute. This stuff on the ground is uh, called karatonchiki. It's equivalent of uh, Trinitite in the United States. It's glass, a new sort of nuclear glass that was formed in the various explosions that happened out here at Ground Zero. Let's put on a different probe so that we can assess the uh, dosimetric uh, uh, exposure rate here at Ground Zero. I'm going to put on a uh, hot dog probe. This is an energy compensated tube made by Eberline. It's a little difficult to do this one-handed. So now we have the uh, Eberline tube on here and uh, it's uh, its conversion rate is uh, 1,200 counts per minute per millirentgen per hour with the, uh, the probe closed, as you see here. So I'll set the meter on the 10,000 counts uh, per minute scale, and let's take a look at this cartonchiki. We're currently at about maybe 2,500 counts per minute. So this is in the vicinity in this area of two millirentgens per hour. And at this point, it's probably mostly cesium-137 and a little bit of strontium-90 with its hard betas uh, and uh, some gamma radiation also from uh, traces of europium and americium isotopes. So let's head back to the uh, waiting vehicle and uh, head out of here, because I'm sure they're ready for dinner.